test setup just showing you how I've got these uh, WS extenders connected in uh, to the system and what results I'm getting. Um, I'm just using, I've got a 50 watt power supply, I'm just using one of these little cheap uh, WS2812 uh, drivers. Um, so where you would normally have the output connector connected straight onto uh, the LEDs here, or the way that where the output to the LEDs would go, what I've done here is I've run them into the first one, which is an isolating uh, differential transmitter, uh, which will then uh, take the data, isolate it from the original power supply, and then turn it into differential data, which then squeezes it down all these uh, these ADSL cables. Now I've got loads of these ADSL cables all connected, one after another, ins to outs, ins to outs, ins to outs. It goes all the way around. I've got approximately 200 metres here, I think it's about 195, I've run out of cable, never mind. And the last one then comes to here, where it then turns the differential signal back into a, a standard WS2812, or this type of signal. It's actually a TTL driver, you can drive pretty much any TTL signal down here at up to 1 megabit per second, and it should be able to come out the other end perfectly okay, isolated. So as long as you've got on your driven side, as long as you've actually got a power supply, that's on the on the other side. Your your ground will be uh, ground will be isolated, and here's the output I'm actually getting. Uh, the there's no difference between me connecting with 200 meters or without 200 meters. It's fine. There's no nasty flicker. There's no lost data. Everything just seems to be working fine, as if it was a uh, normal connection. I might try and get hold of some more cable um, and see what I can how far I can push this but 200 meters is certainly a good good shot for now